Hello everyone. This video we are going to talk about lazy right kicky portable hard drive repair and data recovery. Inside of a lazy right kicky portable hard drive is a 2.5 inch hard drive and a SATA to USB converter. The hard drive brand name could be Seagate or others. The lazy right kicky portable hard drive problems can be categorized into three. Problem one, SATA to USB converter damage. Problem two, hard drive PCB board damage. Problem three, hard drive disk assembly damage. Problem one, SATA to USB converter damage. Solutions. One, fix the converter. Two, Take the hard drive out, put the hard drive into a computer or another external hard drive enclosure to read the hard drive data directly. For the most cases, the second solution is much more easier than the first one. Hard drive PCB board damage. Solutions. 1. Fix the PCB board. 2. PCB board swap. For the most cases, swapping the PCB board is much more easier than fixing the PCB board. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Take the hard drive out from the enclosure and find out the hard drive brand name and the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the Seagate 2.5 inches hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After knowing the hard drive model number and the PCB board number, you may use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware. PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board 
firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.